Well, hey guys again. So um, I got another revelation, which is really cool. Um, the Lord has just been pouring out his spirit on me tonight. It's been awesome with all the revelations of how the world is like the ending and how it's going to take place. So um, basically go watch the previous videos so you know exactly what I'm talking about. For the people who have watched the videos, the Lord always kind of confirms everything with the verse of the day. So it's really cool. Um, I always, before I go to bed, I put my headphones on and I listen to um, the verse of the day. And so it was Psalm 40. And it said, I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined to me and heard my cry. He also brought me up out of a horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock and established my steps. He has put a new song in my mouth. Praise to our God. Many will see it and fear and will trust in the Lord. Blessed is that man who makes the Lord his trust and does not respect the proud, nor such as turn aside to lies. Many, O Lord, my God, are your wonderful works which you have done. And your thoughts toward us cannot be recounted to you in order. If I would declare and speak of them, they are more than can be numbered. Sacrifice and offering you did not desire. My ears you have opened. Burnt offering and sin offering you did not require. Then I said, Behold, I come. In the scroll of the book it is written of me. I delight to do your will, O my God, and your law is within my heart. I proclaim the good news of righteousness in the great assembly. Indeed, I do not restrain my lips, O Lord. You yourself know I have not hidden your righteousness within my heart. I have declared your faithfulness and your salvation. I have not concealed your loving kindness and your truth from the great assembly. Do not withhold your tender mercies from me, O Lord. Let your loving kindness and your truth from the great assembly. Oh, I always say that twice. Do not withhold your truth continually. Preserve me. And then at the end of that, it's like, you are my helper and, and deliver. There's some more, but I didn't go into everything. So I thought that was really cool because that kind of just confirms everything in that sentence. You know, I mean, he gave me a new song, he, um, opened up my ears, you know, preaching the gospel. So it's really cool how he, how he does things like that. Um, but he also showed me, so when we go back to the witnesses, okay, with the spirit of um, Elijah and Enoch, but someone had mentioned that has to be in the flesh. Well, he talks about the, the churches. He told me to look at the seven churches. And so the Sardis church is the one that's um, work, uh, trying to get there by works, you know, not solely relying on Jesus Christ. And then the Laodicea is the lukewarm church. But those are the only two churches mentioned with white robes and clothing. And that's very important because if you look at that, you know, the martyrs had the white robes and clothing as well. So he brought me to Revelation 3, 4. You have a few names even in Sardis who have defiled their garments and they shall walk with me in white for they are worthy. And then he brought me to um, the other church, which is Revelation three eighteen. I counsel you to buy for me gold refined in the fire that you may be rich in white garments, that you may be clothed, that the shame of your nakedness may not be revealed and annoy your eyes with eye salve that you may see. So again, it's the white robes, guys. And then... For the church of philadelphia the elect that's the one that says revelation 3 i know your work see i have set before an open door and no one can shut it for you have little strength have kept my word and have not denied my name because you have kept my command to persevere i will also keep you from the hour of trial which shall come upon the whole world to test those who dwell on the earth so that's why they're the wedding lamb. They go up in the um, the rapture, which is what if he showed me Revelation 4, 1 through 3, where John is in spirit and Jesus says, come up here. Well, it also talks about an open door right there in Revelation 4, 1 through 3. And the trumpet, he hears it before and it, Jesus calls him up. So, And then if you look at the previous videos, you'll see what I'm talking about with the witnesses and stuff and how they get martyred. Well, so the other the other people who were preaching the gospel, the um, apostles, you know, they were they were martyred, yes. And then if you look at Revelation six eleven, then a white robe was given to each of them, and it was said to them that they should not that she, they should rest a little while longer until both the number of their fellow servants and their brethren who would be killed as they were completed. So that's confirming the. The witnesses, the people leading people to Christ with the spirit of Elijah and Enoch, because 
they're going to have the powers to do everything because they have the spirit of Elijah and Enoch because it has to be the two witnesses. I could not get all this on my own, guys. And then, um, so I found that really amazing and it just ties in with everything I was saying with the previous message, you know, with the, them being martyred. And then um, that's right before he says, he goes and sends them out in the wilderness the 144,000 also, and doesn't mention the church again. So um, it all ties in and it, it makes so much sense when you think about it. So Jesus is awesome. If you don't know Jesus, guys, just believe in him, repent. And it's very important to repent because he says that in all of the seven churches. It's all about the seven churches in Revelation. So study those because you will get a revelation. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm going to try to go to bed now. <laughs> All right. Have a blessed night. Bye.